Hi there everyone, welcome along to another video up here in the loft with me, Jenny Kirk. And today we're going to be taking a look through my pickups video. These are the items that I picked up whilst I was at the Statfold Barn Model Railway event. Now we have been to Statfold Barn before and it's a really, really great venue. And also I do love going to Model Railway exhibitions. It's a great opportunity to not just see layouts and uh, see how people have tackled the creative process of building these models but also it's a great opportunity to frisk the trade and I'm a big advocate on uh, buying a lot of things secondhand if you can uh, because certainly this is where the bargains are to be had and it was no difference even though it went on the Sunday so I think a lot of people had already been through and picked a lot of the great stuff from the stalls there was still a lot of great bargains left to pick up so without further ado come with me and I'll take you through some of the items that myself and the Covered Monkey managed to pick up in association with Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts and also with additional support from KR Models who dare to build the models that you want to see on your model railway. But without further ado, I'm really excited to show you what I picked up at the Statfold Barn Model Railway Exhibition. The last pickups video that I did turned out to be really, really popular. So I thought we should probably do this a little bit more often. Now I've just come back from the Statfold Barn Model Railway Exhibition. I thought I'd share with you some of the items that I got there. And also a few days before we went filming at TMC, had a really great time and I did pick up a few bits there. So I'm gonna combine both of these into a pickups video. First up though, let's take a look at the Statfold Barn Hall. First up, um, I've got one of these wagons, one of the Coke Hoppers from Hornby at £15, brand new at R6837. Uh, I just, I prefer this colour on these to the grey and uh, I just thought it'd be nice to add to the collection and uh, they, they do run quite well. I do like my hoppers and the uh, HCP, HCO Coke hoppers are actually um, quite a nice model from Hornby. So pick this up. So I'm really, really pleased about that. Now I'm just going to get my metal ruler just to be able to open this up fairly carefully. Little top tip if you want to open these without damaging the box. Just unhook the ends. It's just a uh, simple clamshell. Let's put that away and there we have it. Really, really nice wagon. Lots of separately applied handrails, excellent rivet detail and uh, the wooden planks as well finished as per wood, uh, which is really nice. And if you do weather these, then do bear in mind that these top three greedy boards are wood and not steel. So don't paint them with rust as if they're steel. Um, but it is a lovely model, actually. Again, one of the unsung heroes of the Hornby range. Um, so really pleased to add that to my collection. I also delved into the world of narrow gauge. And again, I'll show you the price there, 25 pounds. Uh, this is one which has sold out pretty much everywhere I've seen. So um, I was actually quite pleased to get it at the same price as what they were selling, the unweathered ones. Uh, and this is 393026A bogey covered goods wagon Nocton Estates weathered. Now, I'm not really interested in modeling Nocton Estates, but one thing that we do get from this is the fact that um, it is a fairly generic looking livery. Yes, we have the number and the uh, chalked on uh, return empty to Grebe Farm. Uh, but certainly this is perfect for uh, running on Munnith Tatis. These wagons have openable doors too, which uh, I hadn't actually realised when I bought my first one. Um, but there, I think actually, 
one of the things I would love to do is get some hobos. I know uh, Backman, uh, with their scenic accents range, I think do do some hobos. And I think that they might make a really great load in one of these wagons. And if you don't want to show off a bunch of hobos, it's quite easy to just shut the doors on them. So a lovely, lovely wagon, metal wheels. And uh, we've really been spoilt with this range from Backman. Now, sticking with 009, I actually picked up these two. Now, I already have the uh, bug box coaches from Pico in the uh, the green and cream. But I just love these. Um, this livery, the Victorian livery, is superb. That should be able to just flip out now. And they're quite easy to uh, get the, uh, the item out of. Uh, we just need to unscrew but I, I love these um, it's one of the things that Pico are doing incredibly well is the narrow gauge rolling stock um, and um, these will be taking pride of place on Munith Tatus uh, because I'm going to mix them in with the other three uh, it's. Um, I think they'd be quite all right for that. And yes, I know that I'm missing the third class, but uh, actually, um, these were all that were available at the stall that uh, I went to. Uh, one of the things I will do is replace all these couplings, and we've shown it before, but I'm going to show it again because again, um, it's. It's one of those things where it really is a no-brainer. The Hunt couplings, uh, N-gauge uh, couplings here, also fit natively the 009 because they've got the same um, sockets that these go into and it's an absolute must for me to convert to these. They demonstrated these to me at Ali Pali and I've just never looked back. Um, really these are the only way to go if you model in 009 so these wagons will get sets of these. The next item is a bit of a big ticket one and uh, I'm just going to put it down here and yes I was lucky enough to find one of these secondhand. It's one of the Class 25s. Um, I actually paid 75 for this, so a really, really good price. And it's um, as new in box. It's one of the 25s. I was actually really jealous of one of the other Monday Clubbers who managed to pick up one of these. And it's like, hold on, I, I, I really want one of those. Where did you get it from? Uh, and they got it secondhand at a show. But... Um, we're really, I'm really, really pleased. Um, I do love this sort of BR rail green with tops numbers. And it's something you do see from time to time. I think Backman have also done uh, a class 20 in this livery. And um, I also did do a review of the Hellion 25 uh, in two-tone green, but with tops number. So there were quite a few that ran like this. I think class eights as well um, tended to, uh, some of those uh, ran in previous liveries. I think there was one with um, BR Black with a tops number. And certainly class 01 shunters, two of those. Uh, made it onto tops with tops numbers uh, on both of them and actually I did track down a photograph which proved that both of the class 01s did have their tops numbers applied even though I believe one of them uh, was 01002 um, never actually ran um, it was um, stopped with engine repairs that were kind of uh, given up on halfway through but it did get its tops number um, so really really pleased with this uh, I, I, it must be modeled off the actual prototype but these rail blue replacement uh, grills on the side uh, actually on both sides it's an unusual feature but I just guess that this is something that these were replaced out of stock um, and um, it's just one of those things um, that I, I guess fitters would do um, back then it would just be considered an uh, anachronistic livery that the locomotive was wearing but presumably in a good enough condition that uh, it didn't warrant a full repaint so really pleased to have got this 25043 
Now that's actually all of the items that I got from uh, the Statfold Barn Show. The Cupboard Monkey did get a load as well, but uh, I'm going to leave those as a secret for her. But going back to TMC, now I'm just going to move the locomotive out of the way and uh, I'm going to show you this. Now TARDIS, I spotted it first, um, but this is one of the Pico O-Gage line side kits, LK765, police call box, um, includes all the transfers and everything, and I do actually have the right colour blue, so, um, well at least I've got RAF blue, I think that will work quite well. And the Cupboard Monkey is going to build this as a little project, and this will be turning up, moving around on any O-Gage layout. And that I make use of. Uh, I've got a photo plank plus the garden railway that just does need a little bit of a revamp. So uh, I think the cupboard monkey is really looking forward to uh, doing some work with that. And also whilst at TMC we got these. Now I, I'm a huge fan of these Noch figures and some of these are going to be used, albeit temporarily, on a build that I'm going to be doing for television. Can't talk um, about that really. But um, this is just uh, like a little bit of a jokey in the thing, like very meta. So we're going to have a little film crew on it. I think that the TV company will love this. Um, these are to go with the, um, you know, I'd had the Cinderella figures. So Zoe insisted that I get this horse and carriages. Although Hoch Kutscher actually is wedding carriage uh, in German. So this is a wedding carriage. I think if it was for Cinderella, it should be shaped like a pumpkin. But I love these. Um, they're just such a great range of figures. And these Bergsteiger, uh, these are actually rock climbers. So what I'm going to do with these guys is um, these are going to go in the corner by the RAF place. There's a big sheer cliff face and I just really like the idea of um, having these guys climbing up and what I might do as well is just um, probably dip some thread in something like PVA, stretch it out whilst the PVA dries, that will dry clear and then it will actually be like a climbing rope but it won't look like a piece of thread, it will actually look like a rope under tension um, so these I'm really quite looking forward to putting on Weir Yard. Now other items that I got from TMC, uh, it was a big spending spree, but again some of these, well it, it, they're sort of more utilitarian. So um, shaper sheet plaster, um, which I'm actually, yeah actually that is alright, it's got got a little bit dinged at the bottom but it hasn't burst. This stuff is for a project build uh, which again I can't talk about but I'm going to show you the goodies that I got. I've got some plaster cloth and um, also I'm going to be looking at doing some rocks and this is going to be for a video on the channel in the future. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about making my own rocks. We touched on that when I did Minith Tatus, um, but I've already got one of these moulds, but I've decided I'd get a second one with these. And uh, I'm going to do a video on painting, or casting, and then painting your own rocks, just to show how desperately easy it is. But that's all I've got for you, so a really great haul of pickups. Well, I hope you really enjoyed today's video, and I'd love to hear from you if you too were at the Statfold Barn event and picked up some really great stuff. And also, uh, I know there were a couple of other exhibitions on the same weekend, so if you picked up some really great bargains at those, feel free to let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, but until next time, this is me, Jenny Kirk, saying thanks again for watching this video. You take great care of yourself. Like, share, and subscribe, and happy modelling. Until next time. Take care, bye for now. Today's video is sponsored by Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders designed to be fully compatible with every manufacturer's locomotive. Visit train-o-matic.com to browse the full range and see what they've got suitable for you. Additional support is also provided by KR Models, daring to build the models that you want to see on your layout.
Check out their website today and see some of their award-winning models, as well as their forthcoming masterpieces in miniature. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Offshore Allen, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky107107, George Botterini, Chris Moss, Robert Steers, MD of San Juan Model Company and Grantline Products, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, John N. from NC, NYM Arish, Jonathan Foster, Peter, Clifford Ison, Larry W. Grant, NI Railways 4000 Class, Ian Coulson, Alan Dickerson, Eddie Popper, Karen Nicholl, Medwin Williams, Crossways Point Junction, 3B Rail, and Jennifer Garrett. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.